Welcome to part two of this eight part series. Now that you understand why the top 1% buy options, it's important to understand how you win at buying options. For years, investors have shied away from buying options because as you just learned, there's a lower chance of winning. But there's a flip side to that story and part two is gonna make that crystal clear. If I asked you how to win at heads or tails, you'd likely know the answer, but let's go through it for fun. If you were offered to play this game of heads or tails, where you win a dollar and lose two, then you would likely not want to play. How about win one dollar to lose a dollar? Probably a waste of your time because you know that there is no expectation of winning any money. But how about this game where you win a dollar fifty but only lose one dollar? Now that's a game you want to play, right? The odds are in your favor. But what if I said it's not a dollar fifty versus a dollar? It's a hundred and fifty thousand dollars versus a hundred thousand dollars for one flip of the coin. Would you play? That's a much harder decision. You do have an advantage, but you know that anything could happen on one flip of the coin. How would you like to play the game? Well, the answer would be to play the game at a smaller scale that matched what you could afford to play and for a longer period of time. Setting up a probability game to win when you have the mathematical advantage means you need to be able to play the game enough times to allow the math to work its magic. The same plan of attack needs to be applied in options. Instead of thinking about one trade idea that will score big, you should think about trading options in groups of 10. Let me show you what I mean. Here are 10 trades that break even, meaning you make or lose no money. Each trade starts with a dollar. The PL is in percentages and in dollar amounts. In this first scenario, you only win two out of 10 times. The eight times you lose, you lose 50% or 50 cents. The two times you win, you win 200% or $2. Add all of that PL together and you get zero. Amazing, right? You won only two times or 20%, but they were big enough to outweigh the eight times you lost. How about this one? Here you win three times out of 10. You lose 50% or 50 cents seven times. And when you win, you win 200%, 100%, and 50%. Add up the PL there and you get zero again. All of these scenarios break even over 10 tries. even this one that only wins once. And take a look at what happens here. You win three times and lose seven, 150% and 100% twice. But what if you won 400% instead of 150% on the first trade? What happens to your returns then? You can see the dramatic effect one big win has. A break-even P&L quickly turns into a 25% return. Now we've been using a dollar to do our calculations. It works the same for $500 per trade, $1,000 per trade, $2,000 per trade, or any dollar amount you start with. Visualizing this and understanding this simple math should change your perspective on the need to win on every trade, illustrate the power of leverage, and hint at the importance of stop losses. But now comes the real question. How do you consistently find trade ideas producing triple-digit returns? In part three, we start digging in. I'm about to reveal where and how the top 1% gain their advantage and what it takes for them to win. I'll see you there. <laughs>